good guys what's good what's good what's good it's your coach it's your coach carla nicole i wanted to jump in really quick don't have a lot of time but i have this on my soul so i gotta get it out and i just wanted to make sure that i addressed something that i posted earlier so you gentlemen have something to apply today something that you can use today you don't have to wait okay if you need to get a hold to me or you want to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, that's fine. Um, but I do want to give you something today that you can use today. So that um, when you're making partner choices, um, you're choosing better and you're choosing women with certain qualities. Okay, Gentlemen, you're having a tendency to upgrade ladies without really... Being mindful that certain women um, hold, uh, they actually should be holding a certain level of protection for you. I know since you've been small, probably since you've been very young, you've been told and taught to be the protector, right? Every time gentlemen I don't care what man I talk to or what man I coach or what man I have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with all of them tell me from as long as they can remember they have been told and taught to make sure they protect even before they were able to basically really protect anybody but they've been taught even when young you make sure you protect your little sisters you make sure you protect your mom you make sure you protect this and protect that and never sit down and think well wait a minute <laughs> do i need protection yes you do it's your coach carla nicole i'm here to give you the skinny today I need you to write this stuff down because I'm going to make this really quick. I'm going to deep dive into this on, on YouTube, but I just want to give, give you something that you can use today, okay? There are five essential qualities that a woman that you are involved with, and I, now let me be honest with you, I need to get a clear understanding with you now so you can not be bouncing in your mind, well, what does she mean by qualities that a man should have what does she mean by that like what what woman is she talking about okay so let me put you up on game with this too because this is very important a lot of times gentlemen you're not clear just because you're laying her down you're spending a little time with her doesn't necessarily mean she is your primary lady or she is your wife or she is a person that is on your insurance policy or in your will <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just because you're laying a lady down don't mean that that woman is who I'm talking about. Right now, I'm talking about women that you are involved with that has access to you. Okay, so this woman I'm talking about, she has access to you. And the number one thing she has access to is your mind, your legacy and purpose, your vulnerability, your children, family, and, you know, friends. She has access to your home. <laughs> okay? This is the woman I'm talking about. Or women. Gentlemen, I know y'all get how y'all get down. So you might have several different women I just want. So I'm understanding that you have different ladies but I'm, I'm clearly speaking about the women that has access to you okay she's someone that is your ice if you guys don't know what an ice is a woman that is your ice she's in case of emergency that woman is the woman that I'm talking about you need to make sure that any of those women that are holding any of that is holding any of that access in your life these women, okay, needs to have certain qualities when it comes down to making a partner choice with them and having them have access to you, especially having essential amount of time with you, okay? 
Capiche? You got it? All right, now get your pen and paper ready because I'm not playing. I'm going in, but I'm going in quick. I don't have a lot of time, so we're going to keep this moving. All right? If you have a primary woman in your life or primary women in your life, they need to be protective of you. I'm going to let that settle in your soul and in your spirit so that you can understand that. Because I don't think you guys get that very often. I don't think you guys understand how imperative and important it is that you have a woman or women that you're involved with that's primary in your life as protectors of you. Okay? Any woman that has full access to you, like what I gave you earlier, if she's in your life and she is protective, I'm sorry, and she has access to you, she should be extremely protective for you. What is she protecting? So glad she, I'm so glad you asked. This is very important. A woman in your life close to you should be protecting five major things. Number one, she should be protecting your reputation. Number two, she should be protecting your money. Number three, she should be protecting your peace. Number four, she should be protecting your purpose and mission. And number five, she should be protecting your sexual urges. These five major things, a primary woman or primary women in your life should be holding those five essential major protective qualities. The reason why it's essential that she is protective of those things is because those things can get you into a lot of problems, trouble, and even can cost you big time. It could cost you your livelihood. It could cost you your life. All of those things, I'm telling you, is essential to have when you're talking about bringing in a woman in your life and this is a woman you desire to have full on access to you these are these are essential that she holds qualities of protecting while she's there so let me also give you a bonus it's very important that she has no problem with confronting when someone tries to dog your personality someone tries to talk or speak ill of you as a father or as a man tries to talk negative about something that you know clearly is untrue she needs to be able to not have any problem with getting it taken care of that this is not correct and gets it corrected right then and there with you present or not the reason why this is important is because protective women make sure that your reputation is always intact. She doesn't allow for your flaws or your imperfections or anything like that to be exposed to put you in a poor light. That woman gives a damn about you. And this is what it looks like. Protection is essential for men. You guys got to quit allowing women that you're laying down and sleeping with and taking out to eat and stuff and you're letting them in your life and in your home and having all access to you and they are not protective of you because what's happening is you are allowing these women in your space and in your in your access and guess what happens your all of your stuff that you hold value in is at high risk for losing you have to make sure you're looking for women that hold very that hold serious I'm talking about serious value in making sure you are held to a high regard and to a high respect that's period point blank so you should not be allowing a woman access to you and she can give a damn what people say about you. 
dangerous. That is not a woman to make your primary woman. So, like I said, number one woman should make sure she gives a damn about your reputation and what you're looking like out here. That's number one. Okay, capiche? You got that? Write that down. It's very important. All right, number two. A woman that's in your life has access to you. She should be protective of your money. And what I mean by that is she should make sure that, you know, thievery or people coming to get from you or take from you or, or you know, f- be fraudulent. She should be protective of that. She should be looking out for that. And she should be always anchored in your in your space to where she's making sure that this isn't okay. She'll check that in and she'll make sure to comb through if she sees if she sees certain things that's going on in your financial um, documents and stuff and she's seeing something's off and she's catching it and getting on it and shutting down cards and making sure you're good you got to make sure that that woman is protecting those money that money because again we're talking about you you can't just be concerned about protecting a woman you need a woman to protect you and like i said the first number one thing she should be protecting is your reputation you're welcome greg write it down baby because you know i'm gonna check make sure you are writing this down she needs to be protecting your your reputation and she definitely needs to be protecting your money so she should be able to comb through your your financial records, see where you can save, see how you can, you know. She should be giving a damn about how you're saving. She should be giving a damn about your financial health. If she doesn't, she shouldn't be primary. And she definitely shouldn't be a wife. She, she definitely shouldn't be somebody that has full-on access. She could just come on into your house. No. That woman is not someone that should be allowed to do that. Because she may be someone that will take from you. Okay, capiche? You got it? All right. Number three. Gentlemen, you need to have a woman that is protecting your peace. She's on the lookout at all times to see when something or someone or people or things, even situations that are coming, and she sees them on coming, She's preparing you because she's looking out or she's stopping and blocking a lot of stuff that you shouldn't have to be burdened with so that you guys can stay focused on the on the main goal, which is getting the mission accomplished. You can't always have eyes everywhere. So you need a woman or women. If you if you, if you got to get down with more, multiple women, you need a woman to be able to see. Can she see and look around and say, wait a minute, babe. Hey. That one woman, you know, she seems a little off, man. What's going on with her? And I'm not talking about being on no suspicious stuff or jealous stuff. I'm talking about being aware. The level of awareness should be very, very prone and key at all times. I'm not talking about no jealous woman concerned about other women. You fabulous anyway. You're going to have a woman that's and, and she's in your camp. She knows you're fabulous. She ain't got to she ain't got to be insecure. She knows what it is. Okay, well there's beautiful women everywhere that ain't the problem i'm talking about does she pay attention to possible threats and it's not always women sometimes it's men you might have bromances with guys you might think oh this dude's cool man he's this he's that and he ain't this or that and that woman should be able to tell you hey mm -mm. i know y'all cool y'all like to go out and do this and that but he is not safe to be doing certain business uh, missions with. That woman, she should be someone that's protecting you from that as well. All right? Write it down. It's very important. For your purpose and mission, a woman, a primary woman that has access to you and cares about you and you have shared with her your mission or your passion or your purpose to her, she should be always in protection of it. She should always be checking to make sure that your purpose is intact and not, you know, um, pushed off to the side or even making sure you're always on top of task. 
That's what protection is. She's got to make sure, well, you know, we got a bigger picture here. I understand this is an, an immediate thing going on, but we have to make sure that you understand the mission at hand is this, and let's make sure we don't lose sight of that. You need a woman like that. She needs to be protective of your purpose and your mission. I'm talking about women that have keys not only to your heart, but to your house and to your bank account. That woman needs to have all of these qualities I'm giving you. Last but not least, she needs to be protective of your sexual urges. Oh, yes. Oh, what? You thought I wasn't going? You thought I was going to skip that part? <laughs> no. <laughs> your woman needs to be protective of your sexual urges. <laughs> it's very important. She should be your source to take care of that. If, if, if you, if this woman is your primary lady or of your primary group of ladies should not be reserving back or holding back intimacy from you. If she is, she's not a protective woman. Okay. I want you guys to share this video. I'm going to deep dive into all of these different attributes that a woman needs to have but I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know those five major things is vital you can't you cannot be laxed or laid back or oh I don't have to worry you do have to worry if you have a woman or women in your camp that don't hold these protective qualities you're at high risk for a lot of problems this is why I keep telling you, you need to get with me, talk to me personally, call me, inbox me, whatever. You guys need to choose better, not choosing very well. Okay? You're not choosing well. And when you are choosing, you're placing, you're misplacing them in the wrong part of your life. And therefore, these women that you're placing here and there aren't properly placed. So now you have a woman that thinks she's supposed to be this. But she doesn't play in the role well. And now you're constantly frustrated and mad and angry. It's like, dude, you put her in the wrong position. That woman should not be your wife. <laughs> she does not have wifely qualities. Just because you went down an aisle with a woman <laughs> and you exchanged vows with a woman doesn't mean you're married to her. There's a lot of people legally binded to women that are not married. <laughs> These women didn't merge with you. They just stood up before people and had the big engagement, but she's not married to you. She's no more married to you than I am. <laughs> a lot of times, these women that you get legally binded with, you're thinking she's your wife, but she is not. And I'm going to break that down too. There's a difference between legally binding in marriage oh you didn't think I would. I'm a thinking woman oh and I can't let me also remind you that what is very important when you decide to connect with a woman make sure you pick a woman that can make decisions make sure you can pick a woman that can make decisions major decisions make sure you can pick a woman that can make major decisions because if you don't you're going to find yourself in a bind and you're going to find yourself very alone in a relationship trying to handle a bunch of stuff that you shouldn't have to be, you know, handling alone. When you're in a marriage or you're in a relationship or you're in a partnership or you have a one-on-one -on -one with someone or you have a group or a conglomerate of relation, there should be a continuum of decision making. <laughs> so if you're, if you're with a woman that doesn't know how to make decisions, you're... You're at high risk. And I know y'all men know what high risk means. That means not good. In any shape of the imagination. Be sure to share this video. I plan to go live on YouTube about this. Because this is very important and I'll let you guys know when. But I'm going to go through each category. Why it's so important. 
All right, guys, make sure you also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Coaching Matters, because it does. It's easy to sound good, but when you're talking about merging lives and getting involved in relationships and stuff like that, that's fine and well and good, but it's not fine and well and good when you partner and you place women in these different divisions of your life and you're not sure if she can protect you from nothing. It's dangerous. <laughs> You can't just let just any old woman come in because she's pretty. Or she could put it down good in the bedroom. That's not good enough. Okay, capiche? Share this video. Like I said, go over to my YouTube, subscribe today. Make sure you hit the notification bell because I don't know when I'm going to go live, but I plan to. I wanted you guys to get those five major things. If a woman does not protect your reputation... If she does not know how to protect your peace, she doesn't know how to protect your money, she does not know how to protect your purpose and mission, and she definitely doesn't know how to protect your sexual urges, you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm just giving it to you raw. So gentlemen, those of you that have closed minds, I want you to open your mind up so I can get the tip in. Got it? It's important. Don't forget, you're a flame. Solo. Shine on loving oneself. It's vitally important we do that. Share this video. It's very important. And like I said, go subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Coaching Matters. It's Coach Carla Nicole. I'm out of here. You guys behave. Talk soon. Bye.